Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I have a collective book haul for you guys. I bought a few books a couple of months ago but I've never shown them to you so I just really want to include them in this book haul and I've also bought three books in the past month of January. I am really excited to show you all of my books and I'm gonna start off with Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi, I guess is how you pronounce her name. I have already read this book and you might have seen it in one of my videos, the books that disappointed me. So yeah, unfortunately I didn't really like this book. The premise of this book sounded really good. Uh, this is about Juliet and her touch is lethal. So whenever she touches a person, that person might die. And the government, which is like the re-establishment or something, plans to use her as some sort of weapon so she doesn't want that. I had heard nothing but great things about this book so I was expecting it to be really good but it was mainly focused around characters and romance and I just didn't like it. Also nothing super exciting happened in this book and yeah, I'm just not gonna continue on with this series because it didn't really surprise me and I just don't really enjoy it, so yep. <laughs> Then I have a book that was extremely cheap on Amazon and I've heard nothing but great things about this one and it is Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. I've also read Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, and it is one of my favorite contemporaries of all time. But this book is of course about Amy and Roger, duh, because of the title and uh, Amy is moving across the country with her mom but it is Amy's responsibility to take the car with her but she's kind of scared to drive because her father died in a car accident so Roger is gonna go with her on this road trip. And this book is really interesting because it has all of these other things in it like pictures and cafes and uh, playlists and all that stuff and I'm just really excited to read this this summer. And then the last book that I bought in October or something is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone because I got the UK edition, Illustrated Edition. And guys, look how beautiful this book is. Of course you have seen it in a lot of other book hauls but oh my god I'm still so excited that I bought this book and it is so beautiful. I love the books, they're amazing uh, and I've only read them in Dutch so this will be my very first time reading them in English and the illustrations in this book they are so beautiful. I will show you guys my favorite. It's probably an illustration that not a lot of people pick as a favorite but I'm gonna show it to you. My favorite illustration in this book is this one. I hope that you guys can sort of see it. I love this illustration especially because it is a very dark page. Like all the other pages are white and this one is completely black with all of these very light ghosts on the bottom. Like it is a beautiful contrast between dark and light. And I especially love the ghost uh, that is wearing like this golden dress thing with an umbrella. I love this illustration so much and I cannot stop looking at it. I also got it for a very good deal. Like usually this would be like 30 pounds which which is 40 euros and I paid 20 euros for it. So yeah, I was pretty proud of myself to find this deal. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm gonna show you guys all the books that I bought this month in January because uh, you guys have probably seen my other book haul. If not, I will leave a link to that book haul somewhere on the screen. But yeah, I bought five books in January already. Then I looked on Book Depository and yeah, I found some more books and they were actually quite cheap. So I was like, let's buy them. I got enough money. <laughs> Yeah, right, I don't really have that much money, but still, I just really wanted to have these books, so let's get started. You guys might know that I have started Arrow Fire in the summer, but I just couldn't get through it. Like, it was really boring the beginning, the first 70 pages, and I haven't continued because I also couldn't understand it. So a girl in my chemistry class reads a lot of books too, so I told her that I was reading the Throne of Glass series, but that I just couldn't get through Era of Fire. She was like, you need to read the prequel before Era of Fire because you will understand it much better and you know, okay, so I was like, I need to have the Assassin's Blade because I just want to continue on with this series because it is amazing until so far. So I bought the Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. I would have bought the hardcover edition, but it's a lot of money and I didn't have that. So I bought the paperback edition because, oh my gosh, guys, this cover is so beautiful. This is my favorite cover in the series until so far. So this book contains five prequels or like five little stories about Selena. I'm just really excited to read this book because I love this world until so far. And I feel like it's just such a shame that I can't get through Air of Fire and I just want to continue on with this. So the next two books that I'm going to show you guys are in a series that I would have never guessed I was 
was gonna read. I have always said that I wasn't going to read this series because it just didn't sound interesting to me. I will probably get a lot of hate for thinking that in the first place, but I've changed my mind because I was looking at Netflix and I saw the Shadowhunters TV show and of course I've heard a lot of people talk about it. So I was like, okay, let's watch the first episode. So I watched episode one and I really enjoyed it. <laughs> of course, it wasn't like the best episode of a TV show that I've ever seen, but I still thought that it was a lot of fun and I completely changed my mind about the Mortal Instruments series and I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop watching this TV show for right now and I'm gonna read the books first. I have always hated the covers, like the regular metallic covers. I hate those covers. I think they're just really ugly. I just don't like metallic. But then I found the UK editions and the UK editions are extremely beautiful. So I got the first two books in the series because the second book on Book Depository was extremely cheap. It was like seven euros and 50 euro cents. So I got City of Bones by Cassandra Clare and City of Ashes. Look at these covers they're so stunning like oh my god they're so beautiful i'm really excited to read this series especially after watching the first episode of the tv show so i will probably read city of bones this month in february as well i am just really excited to start this series i've heard really great things about it so i don't know why i didn't want to start it in the first place probably because it is a six book series i don't care anymore i just want to read them these are like probably the most beautiful books that I own on my bookshelf. So yeah. <laughs> so those were all the books that I had to show you guys in my book haul. The next video that I will probably make is gonna be a bookshelf tour. If you guys are interested in that, leave it in the comments down below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye.